I'll be showing you how to convert or compress your video file in order for it to be played on a TV or a media player. If you've been having any issues with that, this might help. Um, in short, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting your video file into this, if it's not this already. Um, this just makes it easier for most TVs and most computers to, sorry, not most TVs and most um, media players to read it. A computer should be able to read any video file, um, but uh, a computer, uh, sorry, a TV screen might have issues. Um, if you know what you're doing and you've got your footage as HD or 4K, sorry, UHD or 4K, uh, feel free to use this resolution instead. Um, if you already know how to export something in this, um, with these settings, feel free to just skip this video and just export in these settings. Um, most TVs will read this quite easily. Um, if not, what we're going to do is we're going to use a software called Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, this comes installed on all the uh, Peter Carmel Building Labs uh, computers. Also, just most labs will have uh, the Adobe software on it, so if you have the Adobe software, just come and use one of these. Um, or if you've got it at home, use it at home. Um, so I've got a video file over here on my desktop. Uh, I could just drag and drop it right into here, um, or I could click on this little plus sign and wait a second and then find it. There it is, open, there we go. Um, so once you've imported your video file into Media Encoder, uh, you'll have this option H.264. This is a preset and we want this preset. Um, if this preset's not here, you might want to click on this little drop down and choose uh, H.264. You have the uh, quality presets. Um, you can click on this and choose a few different options. Um, high bitrate's pretty good. Uh, that's for usually what I use for my um, final uh, product. Uh, media bit, medium bitrate is really good for drafts just because it makes the file like half the size and you can just move it around faster, send it to people online and that kind of thing. Um, if you want, you can go in to see the settings and that's probably what we should be doing if we're having any issues putting it on a TV. There we go. Uh, and we need to make sure that these numbers are the same as what we have here. So uh, 1920 by 1080, it's not that currently. So I can't click here and change this. I'd have to turn this off because it's currently on match source. If I turn this off, now I can play around with it and go 1920 um, by 1080. There it is, it uh, figured it out. Um, if it's not letting you do this, it's because the aspect ratio is wrong. So you could turn this off and then type in your number manually there. Um, but let's put that link back on. Um, frame rate 60 frames a second is my video currently. This might be giving your media player an issue, so you could turn that off and try 25. Um, everything else should be pretty good. Uh, the only other options that you'll really be playing around with is bitrate. It might look, it doesn't really matter which setting this is on, you don't need to really worry about that. Uh, but if it's on the two pass, you'll see two different numbers. Uh, just move both of those numbers. Um, so if you see it on this, feel free to change it to one pass. Uh, two pass will be just a little bit uh, smaller of a file size. Um, so we could just remove, reduce this number a bit. Um, and this would help change the file size or the estimated file size at least. So um, originally we, you know, we might have had something like 14 megabytes. You bring this number down and you could get your file size to be pretty small to like three megabytes. So I've never gone lower than like one and three, but even at those settings, like it seems to work not too bad. Uh, usually two and three is um, the lowest I'd like to go. Um, but yeah, once you've done with that, you could click on OK. Uh, boom. And over here, you could choose where you want it to go. So if you click on this little blue thing, you could say, I want you to go on desktop and be called Final Video. And then when you're done, you press this little play button to get it started. You'll see it starts doing its thing. And then on the desktop or wherever you've saved it, you'll see the file materialize. So that's currently what it looks like because it's not finished. And when it finishes, it'll be, it'll compress these into one video file.